I was sitting in this shop, right? Not any old shop, not a paper shop, not a sweet shop, a coffee shop, right? Just sitting there, happily drinking my drink. And some guy just comes over, some random guy, and he's like, uh, can I sit down, please? And I'm like, no, because it's my chair. I was here first. I was here a lot longer than him, an hour before him. In fact, maybe even two hours before him I got there. So why should I move? I have rights to sit there. So he's like, give me your chair now before I call the police. And I'm like, the police ain't going to do anything for a chair, mate, are they? No, they're not going to do anything for a chair. It's a pathetic query. You're going to say to them, oh, somebody might get out of a chair. Can you come, please? They're not going to come. It's wasting their time. So anyway, I refuse to get up. I say, no, sorry, I'm sitting here. It's my chair. Let me drink my drink and go somewhere else. So he walks away, but then comes back again. Give me that chair. Start shouting in my face. No, I'm not giving you the chair. How many times? I'm sitting here first, so you can't have my chair, okay? Anyway, time went on and we continued to argue and argue. Then he hits me. He blatantly sits there, hits me. And then says, if you don't give me that chair now, I'm going to do something I will regret. Then I get a bit scared because I don't know what he's going to do at this point. And then it starts kicking off. We start hitting each other. And then I say, no, I'm not giving you the chair. That's it. Then one of the workers comes over and says, why are you kicking up a fuss? And then I say, well, he's telling me to get out of the chair, but I was here first. But then the guy goes, there's a chair next door, you could just sit there. So all that while, there was a chair right next to the one I was in. So I could have just moved. I should have really looked. I should.